pop that in there like so push it down this is the zeal book by cool by not necessarily the trendiest of names but a fantastic little 15.6 inch uh, laptop does everything that you'd want for schoolwork basically uh, and also general purpose video watching etc etc let's just go through the basics of it and the specification what it looks like and how it operates the processor is a 64-bit 4-core Intel Celeron processor from the Gemini Lake family a J4115 so with 8 gigabytes of RAM uh, it's fantastic especially if you're doing um, things on Microsoft Edge and you've got a lot of tabs open. Basically the RAM enables you to do lots of things without it slowing down. I wouldn't recommend anything under, under eight RAM, not today anyway. When you link the eight gig of RAM to the 256 gig of uh, SSD drive for the storage, that's plenty of storage. As I say, you can increase that up to a terabyte, uh, just swap the disks out, reinstall Windows onto it, that's fine. And if you've got a lot of photographs or a lot of videos that you want to store, then, then fine, do it. But the, two five, the 256 gig card that, that it comes with is, is plenty, especially if it's just office work that you're doing. And because it's an SSD drive, it boots really quickly as well. And if I flip it over, you'll see where we use the M.2 SSD extension, which is just this. If you undo these two screws underneath here is where you put the card. And that is where you put the card. And when you take it out, that is your SSD drive. And that's expandable up to one terabyte. And to fit a new one, it's literally just pop that in there, like so. Push it down, get the screw. The screw goes into there to keep it in place. And then you put the cover back on. It's a relatively straightforward job to do that. Uh, I've just bought a one terabyte one for my son's PC build. That was around about 80 pounds just to give you an indication of the price. Comes with a three pin plug and the AC adapter. There's the plug for the side of the PC and that's the adapter. On the right, we've got the micro SD card slot. We've got a USB three port and we've got the headphone socket. Something that I really like about this, to keep the line, the USB socket, you have to open that up so that it'll take the plug and it closes up again. On the left, we've got the power socket, we've got another USB 3 port and we've got the HDMI port. Something that I really like about this is when you open it up, if you have a look at the back, it pivots and it raises the keyboard and gives you that space there just so that you've got your angle for typing. That also helps with the cooling because you've got a gap underneath now for airflow. Another nice little touch, these two rubber pads here, as well as having the usual rubber feet on the base to stop it from sliding, when the top is raised up and it lifts it off the table, so these rubber pads now at the back, they're no longer on the table, but they've been replaced by these. So there's no movement when you type in. It doesn't push, it doesn't pull, it just stays exactly where it should do. It's fanless, so really, really quiet. You can't hear anything at all, obviously, because there's no fan going around. That can impact on performance slightly, though, when you're doing some processor intensive work. Another thing that I really like about this laptop is the mouse pad. It's a nice big size, some of them, are really small and you're there with your two fingers trying to operate it but this takes up just under half the space underneath the keyboard and another thing about the keyboard as well it's a full-size numeric keypad there so if you're used to operating a calculator and not having to look at it then that's fantastic you've got your center button there your five and then you just go off from that saves you having to um, do it a lot slower by using the numeric keys at the top of the keyboard also the keyboard is the US layout. So by that, I mean the ampersand is over where the number two is. On the UK keyboard, it's here where the um, speech marks are. Uh, I still have it set up with the UK keyboard um, layout. 
and I, I just press that I still get the ampersand you can have it set up with the US and then you just go off what you can actually see but if you're used to the um, the UK keyboard just set it up with that the screen itself it looks a little washed out um, but you've got to remember this is not a 1500 or 2000 pound MacBook it's also not a 1000 um, pound Microsoft laptop neither it's a, a 300 pound or just over 300 pound fully competent laptop that is great for general work general purpose play as well you can play games on it you can watch videos uh, if you link it up to as I say a, a Bluetooth headset or something like that the audio is fantastic on it as far as connectivity goes well the Wi-Fi is 2.4 gig and 5 gig so your 5 gig is your faster one uh, but it only operates over smaller distances your 2.4 gig is general purpose all around the house and if you've got a, a modern router it'll operate on both of those the Bluetooth is 4.2 so that'll connect nice and quickly to your headset and with it being 4.2 it also helps with the battery life as well and ultimately with it weighing in at just 3.4 pounds uh, it's nice and light easy to go into a backpack which this one does because it's a school laptop and when it comes home take it out and um, I've got all the office applications loaded on here for my daughter so she uses that and there's also a lot of Netflix goes on on it as well the front camera is 1.3 megapixels and that's what you're going to use for your video conferencing or your Skype calls the screen's 15.6 inch and it's a HD screen so 1080p uh, the speakers aren't the best of speakers uh, you can't have it too loud it's not that there's any distortion it's just that literally they won't go too loud so if you're anything like me you'll just use Bluetooth headphones anyway if we just turn the volume up you'll hear what I mean so, you know, a bit of a thing at that time, but actually it's a place that really welcomed us. I think people are desperate to find a safe, quiet place. If you don't have headphones, it's more than loud enough to hear if you're in your bedroom or your home office. In summary, um, £329, that's good value. It does everything that she wants it to do uh, and probably a little bit more as well the previous one that she had was uh, an 11 inch screen this is a step up from that it's a 15.6 inch screen much easier to see especially when you've got word documents and excel documents something that you really need for uh, for studying i like the design of it it's light it's got all the connectivity the only thing that i would like it to have that it hasn't got and you just tend not to see it on um on laptops of this price is a USB-C connector but other than not having the USB-C connection everything else about it is very very good value uh, it's a well designed 8 gig of RAM 256 gig of SSD hard drive very light laptop 